Right, so we're going to have a dummy knock. So when we have the dummy knock, what we'll do with the dummy knock is it doesn't need to be too loud, but when it happens, we might reinforce them for no response. Should we have a go? Let's have a go. And it would be as simple as that. Now, you can do your dummy knock or you can ask someone else to do it. We had a spare pair of hands. We did. Fabulous <laughs> ones. So uh, we could do a couple of those. And yeah. you notice that she did spot that and yeah. she kind of raised hairs yeah. and she kind of looked casually, but there was no real response. So what do I do if they all start barking when they hear some noise? Yeah, absolutely. So what we've got to think is we should not worry about whether we're rewarding that behavior by getting involved in that. So they're either experiencing a lot of fear because they're worried about that knock or they're experiencing a lot of overexcitement because they're very, very excited about that knock. So they are not in a headspace to be able to learn what's good or what's bad there. What we can do though is that they've kind of upregulated their arousal, they've, they've gone into high arousal. So we can intervene and say, hi, you got it wrong, we're actually doing calmness right now and you can intervene with some scatter feeding. So what we do in that situation is scatter, not for the purpose of rewarding or punishing, but actually to say, we're actually doing calmness right now. Next time that knock happens, you're going to know to be calm instead. So, should we do another knock? I think we should. Okay, so this time the knock will be a different knock, but about the same volume. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And it would be, again, just... <laughs> My throwing is awful. It really is bad. It would be just a very casual reward. It shouldn't be like a big event no. or a big deal. And remember, we ditch the bowl. I don't think we've said that many times, have we? <laughs> We ditch the bowl so that we can reward all of these good decisions mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so how about we actually have a visitor? So yeah. someone maybe this time as they um, move through, they maybe just say um, hello mm -hmm. or morning yeah. or is anyone up there? Yeah. Because we're up in a hayloft. Yeah. So um, maybe maybe this time someone someone knocks and says something or maybe someone just says something. I think we'll do the just says something. Yeah, yeah, yeah? let's do that. Okay, let's have that. And that's kind of really the best response that we want to see, mm, right? Yeah. That hello means very little. So mm. I don't want to throw because I just know it's going to get badly. <laughs> so what I would say to all of you, young lady, style bed, bed, thank <laughs> you. Um, so what I would say to all of you is that actually, whether it's someone saying hello, or whether it's someone saying morning, or whether it's someone uh, coming come right the stairs, in. come right in, how, how are you? All of these responses can basically be conditioned mm -hmm. that actually the best response really is no response. Yeah. I might do an underarm. Oh, wow. Um, that so was that was good. a good one. I got it in the mouth. Yeah. I want to try two. Oh, oh. not so good. I think that was I poor effort on her part. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would say to all of you is when you're playing these games, this could be a visitor coming to your home. This could be a visitor um, sort of wanting to um, maybe come and sit and watch television or read an e-book or yeah. read an e-book, read a book. Read a We've book. actually got real ones. Yeah. So actually, this could be someone coming into the home to, to watch. We could have DVD night in here. Oh my gosh, let's have Couldn't DVD we? night. So it could be any of those situations. And boundaries play a huge part in everyday life. Even if someone comes in or out, even mm. if something happens, those things are more than possible with boundaries. So real life visitors really does mean that you can condition all of these things on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs>